three years ago so if you're 31 right now and you really started going hard with the music like three years ago so around like 27 28 that's when yeah. you really started pushing the music thing yeah what were you doing during that chunk of your life were you just trying to make something happen when, like working or were you... yeah i was just working making songs here i was there smashing fools out here getting busted there <laughs> like just chilling right i was on bail covid hit so bill stretched it out so i was stretching holes out it was just crazy though, during that time you know it was weird oh shit yeah. wait you, so you were out on bail during covid and then that... I, that's what made me be out for like a whole another year and a half oh shit so you've been locked up a bunch of times over Hell the years nah, for... just a, just just when i was a juvenile i was more reckless but when i was all the way to like, I don't even remember the age I got busted when we were older already. Mm. <clears throat> but I was on bail for so long, so I was like keeping my composure, keeping cool, relaxing. And then, you know, shit still happens, but I just got to thug through it and th it just hit me. Boom. After COVID, then I had to do a baby ass time, sleep time, dog. Nothing to even talk about, just a little weak time. Mm. But the time I was right there, and shout out to all the homies. And shout out to those enemies huh okay that show me love dead homies do you feel like the enemies actually show you love hell yeah in there oh. either they show love or they were scared to get boop bop whatever it was <laughs> fool. whatever that shit was dog either they show love or, and you know but you know they they be kind of like you know like they be still be showing love here and there on the little insta real quick right so i know it'll be real love right here but right still can't trust them yeah yeah uh, don't nah. trust them but also Ignite. cool to have a fan for sure yeah definitely yeah okay but was there anything that happened to you like in between high school and when you really start getting into the rap thing that made you realize that maybe like being on some street shit all the time is not the best use of your potential or that you didn't want to just keep getting locked up was like was there anything that made you want to pivot into the rapping thing well like i started losing like for, from drugs though like my my like family you know mm -hmm. like my primo little sleepy he was he loved rap dog he used to love it he used to always freestyle me <clears throat> and i'll be like hell yeah shit's hard and i'll freestyle bad he'd be like what the fuck you're getting good and he passed from, uh, well, he got, he got, you know, he got, he got, whatever happened to him, some gang shit, you know? Mm. But my primo, Baby Cranes, you know, he, from drugs, but he used to be like, hey, you're bad, primo. So, like, everyone, like, you know, I've been losing close, like, you know, big terms, rest in peace terms. Mm. My little sister's Nino, that's my dad's, you know, solid homie. They, they, all them fools believed in me a lot. Right. And I never realized until, like, they're gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to make you realize, like, like try it at least try it you know like mm. it doesn't hurt to try you know put your heart into it and just do it so that this last year right now is probably the hardest i've been going and i haven't even really been going crazy hard honestly this last like three months mm. i haven't even dropped music just last year but i've been doing podcast 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 so a lot of people have been showing me more love just off that and i just dropped another one today so it's like if everything's just you know just landing where it's supposed to be though oh that's dope you know what i mean were you ever uh into drugs like, nah, I've never been into hardcore really drugs, man. Okay, that's good. Never. And then that's something, you know, I'm, I'm happy I didn't fall into. You yeah, know what I mean? I was more did. into the banging type shit. Right. Because you always got your drug homies, your homies on the block chugging pistol, whistling shit when fools pull up. You got every type of section here, you got a different homie, dog. And I'm just glad I was never like, you know, the fiend type homie, drug homie type shit like that. It doesn't usually end well. Yeah. I don't At know. some point, you got to figure them, it all out. All those sections don't, all, all, everything doesn't end well. Just the way you play it out and the way you know when to stop it. Mm. But drugs, especially, like it used to be you become a cokehead or a pillhead or whatever, and you could just be a pillhead for like 30 years. And now yeah. it's like, no, you're a pillhead for a while, and then you're going to get some fake shit at yeah. some point. Well, you're going to get yeah, desperate yeah. enough yeah. that you're not going to give a about the the pills being official sure or whatever. And then shit, like, I just know so many people that died and like, you know by yeah. by 20 21 yeah. etc and it's just like that 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 really like was the main thing that made me like you know what i can't drug shit anymore oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah fuck that. i'm happy thank god i didn't fall into that category what kind of music was uh motivating you throughout like high school and then even throughout your 20s and everything before you really started rapping well like i started well when i was young it was always like 50 cent and then you know even the game all them fools just like uh uh and then when like rap, when I like you know when I started taking it serious, I started seeing like RJ and them fools like, uh, and I'm like, uh, be having high boning highness to their music, YG when he turned <laughs> up to that shit, like you know, but, uh, the, like I don't know, that shit was hard. Fool. So you'd rather get some pussy to a black rapper than a Mexican rapper? I don't even give a fuck what color's <laughs> rapping when I'm fucking homie, as long as I'm fucking fuck a rapper. Dude. All right, this is my thing. If I'm if there's <laughs> rap music on and we start, I'm not turning it off. Hand up. But there's also no way that I'm gonna be like, ooh, we about to. Fuck let me see. Let me put Hell on this YG uh, album. Nah, low key, I had a high night one time. I swear to God, I was on YG. I think it was Valentine's too. But louder. And then she was like, "What the?" Fuck? I said, "What?" I'm already like eight strokes in. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she was, "What the fuck you playing?" I said, "I start G shit." She goes, "What the?" Fuck? Bitch puts on Key Sweat. Yeah. I got bored. Like what the? Fuck? I mean, I like Key Sweat. Shout out Key Sweat. Whatever. But 
He like, did. it was slow. Damn. Yeah, it was yeah. slow, though. But I still like it. But <laughs> I, I was going ham. I was going with bass. I ain't going to beat. Yeah. Got to go with beat. I don't need to go with that beat. You're going to be laid flat, boys. I got boys. mad through some videos from back in the day where you can hear SoundCloud rap playing in the background, like yeah. really beating it up you with made like it. smoke perp going hard in the background. <laughs> yeah, like Jersey Mike, boys. You made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit is kind of crazy. Man. But but you know what it is? I can listen to any R and B because I don't know, I don't know, I don't even recognize their voices. Uh, I don't know them in real life. For sure. But as soon as I know somebody in real life, it's like why why are we listening to this dude? I know him. That's like, <laughs> why, why why am I listening to him while I fuck? I know him. Yeah. That's just awkward. Um, <laughs> okay, but where when, when did you or were you ever like real into like the Mexican scene in terms of rap and everything? Now when I started rapping, I mean I've listened to people obviously from you know. From the culture that I've rapped and shit, and I always like, you know, I peep game, but nobody really like, oh, I wanna be like that. Yeah. I never thought well, at once in my mind I wanna be like that. Maybe the position they're in at the time, like, that's dope. They're doing that, you know? One day I would love to be right there. Being from Oxnard, though, are you looking at anybody in particular and being like, oh, that's the GOAT? He did what I wanna do? Or are you more forced to like look at LA So, like, one and person other I could say is Conejo, dog. Conejo, he started rapping, and he's in movies now, dog. Shia yeah. LaBeau, like, you know, the, the, you know, that movie was bad as fuck. Yeah, so fucking, and he'd be doing it, dog. That's some shit that I want to do, dog. You know, mm. I want to, but I want to go further. I'm, I'm always thinking up ahead further. Mm. And like they said, I've seen a lot of videos, whatever. Ages don't matter, homie. That shit just either makes you or break you. Just keep pushing, dog. That's it. Yeah, because it's like, we, we don't really talk about it, but it, it feels like there's never been like a huge national superstar when it comes to like a Mexican rapper necessarily, yeah. but it feels like we're getting closer and closer. Like, yeah, I feel sure. like uh, that Mexican OT even though he's from Texas, that he's he's probably got one of the biggest chances right now. He's just, yeah. like, kind of blowing the fuck up. I heard Beyonce shot him out the yeah, other I day. Yeah, I seen that. It feels like now it's it's kind of, like, becoming its own thing, and we'll probably see more and more. For sure. That's we, opening We need barriers. Young Chach to be the, the man. Real. Hell yeah. I'm yeah. trying, dog. I'm going to break down barriers, dog. But so when you actually start putting out videos and everything, who was it that kind of motivated you, or is there anybody that helped you get into the mindset? Nah, it was just, it was for, honestly, when I started, before I even got my manager, JP, shout out to, you know, he knew me since I was in diapers. I've done all this shit alone, dog. I've never had help. I invested by myself. I did it all alone, dog. Mm. Everything. You ask any of my homies. I that one video I did have homies, you know, don't like you know, shoot me fed. I hear his for your next one, you know. Mm. But the main thing that kept me pushing is people I go to Costco or something, gang related ass food, dog, tell his mom, hey, ask me if I can take a picture. Like, what the f So it's just like little things like that, you know, it's just like it just makes me like cool. Like today when I went to the gym. Yes, I go to the gym. Fat boys do it better. Dead homies. Well, they have no idea you. what you might look like if you didn't go to the gym. <laughs> Four. Because they say that about I, me, wait, too. Put it this way. Corky wouldn't be able to fit on this couch. <laughs> Dead homies. Yes. But they say that to me. They say, like, you're, you're not in great shape. You work out all the time. I'm like, yo, imagine what I would look like if I didn't work yeah. out. We work out to eat. You know what yeah, I mean? Got, exactly. Got you got to earn it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I work out for the twisted tea. Yeah. I know. I can't drink that shit. Sugar is full. Dead um, Okay. Uh, but... So you, you start to get into it. How do you form a relationship with somebody like Swifty or I seen you with Baldacci? So you're like actually really tapping in with like yeah. important figures in the community. And well, shit. like I even ran to Baldacci again recently. Well, we went to a private party right there. It was the mayor of LA's birthday. Oh, wow. Yeah, Stevan's um, Estevan Orioles. It was his birthday and my, my manager. Oh, so not in. the literal mayor. Nah, okay, nah, got but it, that's got the it. mayor of LA, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, so right there, I'm Baldacci. And then the homie uh, D Boy from Three Two Three, that was bad. I'm gonna do a feature with that fool oh, yeah, pretty yeah, soon. Yeah. He's hard. And I just started meeting like you know different people on L. You know that fool was on Wild Fool, all them fools. It was cool, though. So starting getting tapped in slowly but surely, and that's just the way it is. That's why like I would like try to see how much you guys charge for future, future, future when I was coming up. But I can see myself on the same table as these fools pretty soon, homie. And I'm not even, you know, I'm not stressing. Mm. I'm gonna just do me. I'm gonna keep doing what I gotta do. Be myself. And I'll see you, dog. So you were copping those features early on, or was well, it like, off well, the like, love? Well, like, Badachi, not like Badachi. It was a little, little something, nothing crazy, but right. little things, you know? To show your respect for no, their for time. No, for sure. Cujo, yeah. like, them fools. I got a feature. I didn't have to pay that one, though, but Spice One, but Spice One, that song. But just a lot of, like, you know, but nothing crazy, like, I was saying, insane type shit. Mm -hmm. It's all love, though, dog, because a lot of fools know that. They realize when they meet me, dog, and you know my surroundings, my hood, everything. They're like, "Oh, this motherfucker, all right, all right. Like, they don't right. get more real than this right here, dog. Colonia, baby, you know. Definitely. So, have you been getting tattooed since you were super young, too, or? Well, I mean, the first one I got was this motherfucker, little OX boy. You know what I mean, I remember one time, dog. I was like 15, I think 14. I got that right there, and then my dad didn't know I got oh, this. Oh, that's what you got, big OX. Yeah. Huh? All and right. The and the cops pulled us over, and the cops saw. So when'd you get that OX? I'm young. <laughs> Whatever we talked about it, what we left, my dad's like, "Why the." 
Are you lifting up your shorts to these fucking cops? My dad thought I was like this the whole time showing up the old eggs, but he didn't know I had these. <laughs> so I went to the house and I heard it, homie. I mean, my dad was tripping. Wait, so the cops from out there, if you have OX tattooed on you or Oxnard tattooed on you, they don't take it as like he's from Oxnard. I, they take it as a yeah. gang thing. Yeah, if when you're 15 with letters like that, homie, <laughs> yeah. they weren't that power shaded, but when you have letters like that on your dog, you're out, you're 100% a gang member. Mm. 100%. They don't give a f who you are. You okay. Know? Good to know. But, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, well, yeah. just in case, you know, you never know. Um, but okay, so uh, you you uh, you were on house arrest, and that's when you started taking the music yeah, a lot more yeah, serious. Do you think that arrest. was that was critical to you getting more serious with it? Honestly, yeah, because all I had was time, dog, and as people think, oh, I'm going home, going house arrest, fool, that's the same shit as being busted. Might mm -hmm. as well, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you are with your family, you know. But I had all the homies pulling up. Corky, he was on a couple songs back in the day. He ain't no rapper mm -hmm. no more, but. Right. He was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give this fool a couple shots of everything. You know what we all. <laughs> so that's the environment in the studio. Are you, is it like a party vibe? You just when I was fun? young, yeah, dog. My mom and dad hated me. They said they're probably old. they're wishing I was old enough to get kicked out that motherfucker probably, but they couldn't. <laughs> now nah, I love my family. But when know. you make music, you do you want it to be a party vibe? Is that going to make the music better? You feel like? Nah, well, yeah, I'll be, like it just depends who's around your environment. It's like if you take. I don't ever took shrooms, but I heard you take shrooms, dog, and you're with. The Bad vibe people, your shit's gonna be a bad high dog. Oh, you're yeah. with good people, it's gonna be good. Yeah. That's how it works with everything, dog. One time I, I was did acid and I was with these hippie chicks and I was trying to f but they, they wouldn't stop talking about <laughs> rocks and magic and oh, talking hell. about how these rocks had magical oh, powers. Hell, I been out dead homie, that's scary as fuck. And I'm on acid, I'm like going through it in my head, it's like feeling like hella crazy. deep and they're talking yeah. about this shit that I consider to be like the most retarded conversation I ever heard in my life. <laughs> Oh, like, this is not the right <laughs> yeah. environment for it. Wait, so what, what's it say under here? What is it here? Hood boy. Hood boy. I'm an 805. What, so is hood boy like a thing where you're from? Or? I'm just a hood boy, baby. That okay. goes for everybody in the, everywhere in the southern side, baby. I'm a hood boy. Oh, okay. Hood baby, hood boy. Hell yeah. Hood star, everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. what's hood stars mean? I'm not just same shit, just right. Or a uh, star gang. You got that? That's another thing you claim? I got all star tatted. Oh, okay. I'm an all star, dog. Nice. Because you know how, like, there's people that are from, and there's, like, those people, like, we're the chosen ones. Mm. All stars, baby. All right. Important question. You've done interviews with a lot of them. Who's the goat of the Rasa podcast scene in LA? Podcast? I'm going to have to go with Hoodstocks. Oh, yeah? I f with Hoodstocks, homie, and I plan to be there again. Yeah. We already talked about it. I'm going to go after my album dropped already. I've been doing all this. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there again. Dog. You take your shirt off? Nah, not yet. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> nah, okay. It's just not like so. He doesn't make everybody do that. It's just some people. Nah, I don't know. I don't even. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. I thought he made everybody. Nah, do but it. homie, but nah, he's that's like the most ink, like like the because when you're in a podcast, dog, you want someone to be talking back to you and feeling good, like mm. run it, homie, match my energy, you know. But uh, yeah, that guy seems a little crazy. Uh, but I definitely, I feel like he might have the best podcast yeah, personality like, that I've seen out of yeah. anybody. No shots at. Icon or whoever's out here, but oh, yeah. something about that Shout hood stocks fool, man. Like he's he's just got that energy. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's like me if I was a podcaster. You know, be like, Ugh, I'll be pressing fools. Like, what's yeah, nah, I'm crazy. <laughs> no, because it's like you, you you like you're in the gangbanger part of your life, and then most people like by the time they become podcasters, they mellow the f out. Yeah, for sure. He ain't mellowed out. He's yeah, still yeah, so like he, he's really on the it. yard. It's like yeah, he's having he's a good time. Yeah, yeah, but that show is for sure. For sure, one of the uh, bright lights, cameras, action on me. That's where, you know, I never stepped foot in, like, something like that until mm -hmm. I hit that spot. He was surprised, uh, for the people at home, he was surprised when he came in here and realized it wasn't live. Because you're used to doing oh, yeah. the live. So, like, but live is, like, really intense pressure. Because yeah. then, you, like, realistically, if you said something crazy to me, you could be like, yo, could you, could you edit out that See, one thing? See, and I was know? like, that's basically how you're taught. That's, like, how I was taught. Mm -hmm. My last, like, five, four podcasts, whatever I was on, are they all been live. Mm. So I'm waiting for them phone calls. Like, homie's gonna say something stupid, mother. <laughs> you better live out here, dog, because you live in my city. We we a mile away, baby. I'm running to your ass. Uh, it's only one store, homie. Right. I mean. Okay. But yeah.